Hello everyone, it's me, Big Bad Beaver, back again with another Big Bad video. Now, my last video attracted a lot of attention, and it turns out that these Discord Steam scams were much more widespread than I originally thought, and it was affecting hundreds of servers. Now, many people have reached out to me through YouTube comments, Discord DMs, and other ways, asking for help and advice with protecting their account and what to do if they've been hacked, so I figured it would be a great idea to create this informational video with steps you can take to protect your account and prevent your Discord accounts from being compromised. Before we start, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for over 100 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support you've given me and welcome you to all join my Discord server to hang out with me. Additionally, if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and updates I release. Now that that's out of the way, to begin, the best and quickest way that you can take to protect yourself on Discord is to enable two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is used pretty much universally across all websites at this point, so it shouldn't be too much of a surprise as to what it does. But if you don't know, on Discord you can use an authentication app or text messages to receive a one-time use code every time you log into your account. This extra code helps to prevent unauthorized users from accessing your account, even if your password were to be leaked or stolen. Now, when a hacker attempts to connect, even if they have the correct password, they wouldn't be able to gain access without your one-time use code. This gives you time to rechange your password and secure your account in the event of an issue. With two-factor authentication, you'll also have a set of backup codes should an issue arise that prevents you from getting a 2FA code. Now, I would strongly recommend that you take a piece of paper and write down these codes, and then store this piece of paper in a safe place that you'll remember. Do not save these codes on your computer in a text file, or even worse, in a private Discord channel. Two-factor authentication is the best method to prevent troublemakers access, and if you're interested in moderating for some Discord servers in the future, it's also a requirement for some communities. So if you can, I would immediately set this up. There are many other things you can do to protect yourself on Discord, and a big part of that is prevention. With more and more accounts becoming compromised and turned into scam spamming bots, it's important to limit who can contact you and how you can be contacted. In your user settings, you can click on privacy and safety to open up a list of settings specifically related to what content you see and who can contact you online. Two settings I would immediately turn off are allowing DMs from server members and disabling public friend invites. Turning off DMs from server members will set it so that any new server you join will automatically close your DMs from those server members. If you're in a large server, this might be good to prevent DM advertisers, scammers, and trolls from contacting you. Disabling public friend invites will also help cut down on clutter and make it so that only people you're likely to know can add you as a friend. Again, this is a great way to limit who can contact you. Now the last big step I have for you is to use common sense. It's 2021, okay? Someone you've never heard of is saying they'll give you a free Nitro account if you click this link. Someone's offering you a bunch of CSGO items. Or maybe someone is offering to give you fancy profile badges if you just change your emails to theirs. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Take some time to read their message and analyze it. Ask yourself, why me? Why was I contacted to receive all these free items instead of like a friend they know or a family member? It could be because they want to be nice but it's more likely because you own a big server that someone wants ownership of. Or maybe it's because you have a bunch of account badges. People are always interested in taking things, and if you have something they'd like, they're going to do what they can to grab it. When you receive a message like this, you can try asking them these questions too, but you'll most likely get silence. Many of these accounts sending these scams are stolen from other users and have user bots running on them to spam as many people and as many servers as possible before inevitably getting banned by Discord they're typically not programmed to respond to any questions. You can also check the link. Look for spelling mistakes, an I instead of an L, or a zero instead of an O. Someone can easily buy a domain with letters swapped out and use it for nefarious purposes. If you see the domain pointing to a .ru or a .xyz or some other suspicious looking URL like that, don't click it. If you've clicked the link, close out of it. Many of you have contacted me saying that you clicked on one of these scam links and closed it quickly, but you were still concerned that you may have been compromised. In cases like these, it's better to be safe than sorry. Reset your password and monitor your account closely for any suspicious behavior. If you've taken the steps above to lock your DMs, you shouldn't be receiving any messages from scammers, but if it does happen, hopefully you'll be able to recognize it now. 
When you identify a scammer, I'd recommend you take a screenshot of the encounter, check their mutual servers, and contact the moderators of the servers you share. Inform them that someone you do not know is sending phishing links and provide the screenshot of evidence. Once reported to the moderators of those servers, you should report the account to Discord. You can visit the link I listed in the description below to find their ticket reporting site. Make sure to copy the message link of their attempted scam and include that in your ticket, as screenshots are not valid forms of evidence to Discord. If you've unfortunately fallen victim to one of these scams or have had your account hacked already, I would recommend contacting Discord support. In some cases, you might actually be able to restore access to the account and get it back but in others, it might be too late. Regardless, even though I'm a certified moderator on Discord, I'm not able to help you with situations like this. I've noticed a lot of you have reached out to me as well, directly uh, asking for help getting your account back or, or advice on getting accounts banned. I can't do that for you. You need to do it yourself. Now, additionally, some of you have reached out saying you've noticed unusual messages being sent from your account. That is likely a sign you've been hacked and you should immediately change your password. Contact Discord support if you need more help or if you continue to notice these unusual messages being sent after the fact. The last thing I wanna to touch on is if one of your friends is hacked and you get one of these scam messages from them, I would reach out to them on another site, maybe ask them through Twitter DMs or Instagram DMs, or if you have their phone number, give them a text, double check on another service to see if that was actually them. It's a small step that can save you a lot of hassle. That's all the time I have on this video, but if you're curious about other steps you can take to stay safe, check out the description and the pinned comments. I'll link some official Discord resources you can review to keep your account secure and in your hands. And if you yourself have any tips that weren't listed in here, leave a comment below. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe for more content on Discord in the future. I'm Big Bad Beaver, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.